Hey everyone, so I have a quick little video for you today. Um, so let me just explain what happened here. So I got a piece of black cardstock and I tried to use a kind of a stencil with this. Uh, it's it's a spray that makes your paper textured. So it's it's called Goosebumps. And it's by Imagine Crafts. But my bottle was so um, clogged up that I was not able to do it successfully. So I was going to do the goosebumps and then I was going to put some um, perfect pearl powder on them before they dried. And it does kind of work. You can see on the top left the little bit of, of gold that was already there. That was a little bit of the of the goosebump spray and uh, so because that didn't work I just got a bunch of stamps um, little star stamps from like three different sets and I use my perfect pearls um, medium to stamp and I'm just using the lid as my little stamp block and here I'm using these three colors and I'm gonna do kind of like an ombre effect from gold to this light pink to this like iridescent purple which kind of looks more blue in the in the video but it looks more iridescent purple in real life and I decided to leave this whole thing on there because I love the way um, I mean it's only it's under two minutes <laughs> of stamping and, and putting powder on but um, I really love the way you can it kind of like gets revealed as I put the, the powder on there. It's like magic. So I've had, um, I love Perfect Pearls. I've had them for years and, uh, you know, my containers are still pretty full. So after I'm done, I just clean it with this big brush. And um, I cleaned it pretty good. I cleaned it one more time after this. And now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna clean my mat a little bit. So I taped my craft sheet onto the back of my mat so I could just flip it. See, I'm going to show you again. It's just taped over there and I just flip it over. And then I kind of forget to use it. So, um, But that's the idea. The idea is that I can just flip over my mat, do the dirty stuff <laughs> on the back where it won't if my mat gets a little stained it won't matter so much and uh i can just it, it'll be easy and convenient so hopefully i remember to use it a little more often so now i picked out these three photos and i'm gonna line them up all the way across my page i'm really liking uh the playful look of the of the stars and the black background and so because I had the stars um, I immediately thought of uh, Shamel's Starshine collection and Pink Paisley's Wild Child collection so I went ahead and looked oh yes I got these doodly borders on clearance at Hobby Lobby a, a few weeks a few months ago they are doodle bug, I think. So I'm going to put those on either side. And then I'm going to look through um, my Starshine and Wild Child collections and pick out some stuff that has um, little star themed, maybe a little exploring theme. Um, the title was the first thing that I went, went to look for. And I looked through my thickers. And so this is the boy collection in the wild child um, from Pink Paisley and I find that the thickers are so much better <laughs> for the boys so see this one said future explorer one said have courage good times watch me go that smile cool kid love you to the moon so fun and the girl ones there's 
There's a few that are good. Like, I think it also says, like, um, Great Smile or something like that. But they're, like, Flower Power and Super Fly and, like, really... Mm, I don't know. I just find these a lot more meaningful, I guess. Um, or relevant than the girl ones, which is kind of sad. So I kind of fig figured out the way I wanted my my little clusters to go. And then I decided I needed something else. So I'm just using some really, really old Mr. Huey white mist here. And... I'm using this liner brush. At first I used just the the bottle, um, the spray bottle thing that came that comes with it. And now I got this liner brush. I just dip the tip into the into the uh, mist and then I tap it on my finger and it gives like the tiniest little dots of mist. And I really I really like doing that because I like the different sizes of of dots that I get when I spray with just like the little mister that it comes with and then when I use this liner brush that looks a lot more like a galaxy background to me now so I'm just putting my my little clusters here and then the the little tiny bits of the um of die cuts that you see there some are die cuts and then the tiniest bits are cut from the 6x6 star shine paper pad Except for the, well, the tickets and the red stripe that says important stuff, those came in the ephemera pack as well. But I cut a lot of stuff from um, from the 6x6 paper pad. So I'm figuring out how to put the bottom back together. And I want this title... Um, this arrow to fit under the title nicely so I'm going to try and and figure out the layering for that okay so I think it's something like this I'm gonna try that and I really like how this thicker it says future explorer in like this brush font and in the the letters are made up of like this like galaxy kind of painty look to it. So it goes really well with my page here. Okay, so I figured out this is how I want it. I glued some of this stuff down and now I'm putting foam dots behind some small bits just to give it a little dimension in different parts. The last, yes, the last piece is that important stuff and now I wish I would have put the let's go a little lower so that it could kind of sit on the bottom of that too but it didn't work out that way so that's okay I'm just gonna leave it um the last bit let's see I'm gonna put a pop dot up there too so the last bit I put a pop dot up there and I'm going to do my journaling with this blue pen because it seemed like that was a very prominent color a lot of the writing is in blue and if I was to put black I think it would stand out in a bad way I think blue looks a lot better with this so I did my journaling in blue and I'm putting some little chipboard stars all over and I still felt like there was something missing once I was done with the stars so I got my sticker book from, um, it's the American Craft sticker book from Chamel. And she has these beautiful iridescent dots. And they're just a bunch of stickers of little dots. There's one sheet that's uh, translucent dots. And then this sheet of iridescent ones. And I love them. So here I just matched them by color. And... Um, luckily there was each color that I needed in the sticker sheet so that is all for my layout guys thank you so much for watching and see you again soon bye